Hello, my junior four students. I'm Mrs. Marin, and this is my channel, Science in a Nutshell. Today, we will learn more about different types of animals, and the first thing we will learn about is that they have different types of habitats, such as the tropical rainforest or the ocean. Last time, we were talking about the polar climate regions and the desert. But today, we will talk about the tropical rainforest and the ocean. And the first animal we will be talking about is the panther chameleon. The panther chameleon is considered one of the reptiles that live in the tropical rainforest. And now, let's watch this video together to learn more about the panther chameleon. So first thing, as you can see here, it changes its color, right? So let me tell you more about its structural adaptation and its behavioral adaptation. For the structural adaptation, it has brightly colored scales, as you can see, that provide camouflage with its surrounding environment that contains green leaves and colorful flowers. Chameleon eyes, if you take a closer look to it, you will see that they move in opposite directions, where each eye can move independently from the other one. So one eye can be searching for something to eat, like insect, while the other eye is on the lookout for danger in a totally different direction. The adaptation allows the panther chameleon to hunt its prey and avoid becoming a prey at the same time. And for its tongue, it's very long and sticky. It has a very long sticky tongue. And this is to hunt insects for feeding. And then it has a V-shaped feet and a tail like a hand to hold tightly to the branches of a tree. That was everything you need to know about the structural adaptation for the panther chameleon. Now let's see what is the behavior adaptation for the panther chameleon. When a chameleon finds itself in a danger, it doesn't have teeth or claws for defense, but it has one last trick to scare its attacker, where it appears as fierce as the following. Number one, puffs up its body with air so it can be as big as possible so it can scare its attacker. Number two opens its mouth very wide. It changes the colors of its scales. So again, puffs up its body with air, opens its mouth very wide, and number three changes the colors of its scales. An animal we will learn about is the dark bear or the brown bear. The dark bear or the brown bear lives in the forest and it has dark fur to help them stay hidden among the trees as they hunt. Now we will learn more about the bull shark. So first thing here is the habitat of the bull shark. It lives in fresh water and in salt water. Its structural adaptation, its body is adapted to survive in fresh water. So it has a unique advantage over the other sharks because they can only live in the salt water. 
but as for the bull shark, it can also live in fresh water. It has a dark back and a wide belly that causes the following. When an animal swimming above the bull shark looking down into the ocean may not see the shark in the shadows due to its dark back. But when an animal is swimming underneath the bull shark and looking up, the bull shark may blend in the bright light of sun due to its white belly. And this phenomena we call it, or this camouflage strategy, we call it the counter shading. Repeat after me, counter shading. Don't forget the shark has sharp teeth. And this is to help it sneak up on its prey and tear their flesh into pieces. And that was everything you need to know about the structural adaptation of the ball shark. Now let's talk about the behavioral adaptation. And as for the behavioral adaptation, you will see that the ball shark can hunt in different places like salt water or like fresh water so it can feed on different types of food. The bull shark can hunt in the day as well as the night, so its prey cannot predict when the shark is going to be hunting the next time. And there is a very important thing we need to know that in fresh water, bull sharks have less competition for finding food because there are no other sharks live in fresh water to share the bull shark food. And that was everything we need to know about the bull shark. I hope you enjoyed the uh, lesson today and don't forget to share, subscribe and like the video.